What's up guys, this is the Whitewood Auction Up. We're continuing with our epic adventure into Philadelphia. We're heading to Constitution Hall. Um, families in front, there they go. Independence Hall, I call everything wrong. Independence Hall. We're heading to Independence Hall. The five year old has corrected me. <laughs> um, everything's going good so far. There's a beautiful view of Philly right behind me there. You see it in a, on Skyline. Um, but yeah, everything's going good. So I'm just gonna keep making videos as we go along, as we get a feel for the city. Uh, where else are we heading to today? We're gonna go see Liberty Bell and well, I don't know, whatever else. But um, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's the van parked over there in that spot that I parked yesterday. I wasn't sure if it was okay, but um, I called the people with Airbnb and that is the property that they own also here. So there was no issues. But I was pretty nervous at first. I'm not trying to get towed. I don't know if you're familiar with the show called Parking Wars, but that ain't no joke. We actually got the registration, lights, um, insurance, everything, <laughs> everything ready to go just in case we get towed while we're in Philly. Because <clears throat> that's what Philly is known for. But all right. Well, anyway, it looks like we're confused for some reason. So we're going to stop here and figure out what they're doing. All right, guys. Well, that was a fail. We tried to go visit the U.S. Mint right behind me, and it uh, just didn't work out because they're closed due to COVID. So we're about to enter into all the other independent stuff. <laughs> I sound like an idiot. I guess I should have paid more attention in fourth grade, right? All right, so here we go. All right, guys, this is a little nice little tidbit of history. We're not going to pay for it. It says like $5 per person, but we're not going to pay to go in there. But this is actually where Benjamin Franklin is buried, which to me, I find extremely neat. Um, yeah, I'm almost tempted to pay the $5, but it's not worth it for the little ones because she's not going to get anything out of it. But um, anyway. It's just a little history, some history things that Ben Franklin did. You got, you know, he discovered electricity basically by tying a key onto a kite and flying it, which is awesome. But uh, he was lucky to survive that. Um, what else? He, he created the um, the chimney for the stoves, actually, which, you know, the fireplace chimney. So, I mean, he was an inventor, very wealthy man, a playboy in his time founder of this great country so I would love to uh, get to go in there but oh well well so we'll see what else we can see here but um, I think I'm gonna stop wearing my mask I've noticed a lot of people in the city wearing their masks so I don't want to be the eyeball I try to follow suit and not rock the boat all right so let's see what's next all right guys as you can see right there we got Independence Hall to my left uh we're gonna go over there get a much closer look at everything but that's where the declaration of independence, independence was signed and you know it's, it's a pretty cool thing to see i haven't seen this since like 1986 87 when i was a kid um one thing i like to mention about it though uh a lot of the guys who signed that i mean that was also like signing their death warrant um if they had lost the revolution the British definitely would have put them to death. A lot of people don't really realize that. They were martyrs, and they are willing to suffer the consequences of being martyrs. That's a lot different than things for our society today. Um, I, mean, I don't want to get political, but some of the events that transpired recently, I mean, if you feel that strong about something, you have to also accept the consequences if you're not successful. But um, anyway, that's my little tangent. All right, so now we're gonna be going over here shortly and seeing what we see. And that is, it didn't exist when this building was built. As originally built, this building actually didn't have anything to do with the American Revolution or the creation of the United States, and no one ever agreed with folks that it would. So what you're touring here, this starts out, folks, as the state house. Philadelphia was the capital of Pennsylvania. This building was built So it's a very active building. There were lots of important 
debates and discussions that occurred. But these were debates and discussions, folks, that revolved around Pennsylvania. Revolution, independence, again, the creation of the United States. But this wasn't supposed to happen. Right? And that becomes all the more clear when you take up on folks as to when this building was built. This building was built folks, in the 1730s, decades before the revolution. In the 1730s, Pennsylvania is a British colony. This is the colonial state. This is British North America. And this is not a weak, faltering relationship between the colonies and the crown. This is a pretty solid relationship. There's strong economic ties. There's a wide range of political rights and liberties. There's significant rights under English common law, such as the right to a trial by jury, the right to all right, guys, we're checking out the Liberty Bell right now. Um, the littlest one is the most excited to see the bell. I don't know why. Oh, tour. Okay. Okay. Oops. We're getting sent back right now. We're in too early. We have a woman in the number of people. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're going to wait till we can go see the Liberty Bell. <laughs> All right. If you guys got questions. All right. All right. Okay guys, we just got clearance to come in. So now we're gonna go ahead and check out the Liberty Bell. I'm gonna swing the camera around. And there's the Liberty Bell. There it is. Guys, we're at the Reading Terminal Market. Never been here before. We're at the map. And we're gonna go start exploring this. This is recommended to us by a lot of different people. Oh, yeah. So let's see what it has to offer. Let's walk around. All right, go ahead, guys. Ignore me. All right. So what we got here? That's big. Anything I want to get? Say something. Looks delicious. No junk food for you today? Let me know what y'all want. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm waiting for the little one to ask for something, but she hasn't asked for nothing yet. Usually pastries and junk food. I'm getting. I'm getting me a Philly cheese steak before this is all said and done. You know what I can get before it's all said and done, Lord? Yeah, let's go. All right, first thing we got to do is bathroom break. I got the smallest bladder in the world. Oh, look at that lunch meat. I know y'all girls. Hmm. Look, port wine. My wife loves port wine. Uh-oh, they're gonna get something. So you come all the way here to get what you get at home. That's funny. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, okay. All right, where's the restroom is that? It's a pretty cool scene though. All right. Kind of reminds me of Lexington Market in Baltimore. Cleaner though. A lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. 
We need honey. Oh, oh, oh. I see a donut possibility. Is there any donut possibilities? No. Nope. It's candy. No. Nope. What are we going after here? Three, look at that. Things on the top shelf. Oh, they're $4 a piece, whatever they are. Look at them. Slide up or up and down. Y'all know what I want to eat today. I'll go for a cup of coffee. Nah, I gotta go to the bathroom then. And I don't know where we're going next. Where to? Pretzels, Laura. You see the pretzels? Uh oh. Is this like donuts or whoopie pies? Star, are you looking? Hey, Lord, to your left. There you go. Now she'll be happy. 